Hi everybody and welcome to this year's Easter watercolor card series. We're going to be painting this adorable little bunny uh, card for Easter, so grab your tools and let's get started. The first thing you want to do is to lightly sketch out with a pencil the shape of a rabbit head, or rather the top portion of a rabbit head, and the two ears which are going to be the main focus of our card. And then you can fill in just the head portion with a solid color of your choosing. I went with this really nice magenta color um, just because I wanted it to sort of resemble the colors of Easter, but you can choose whatever color that you would like. And once that head has completely dried, and it's important that it is totally dry, otherwise it will bleed into the ears, and we don't want that for this card at least, uh, you're going to dip your paintbrush into water and then completely cover one of the ears. So mine looks a little bit pink and that's because I wanted you to see the shape of the ear and if I just used water then it would be really hard to see the shape. But while that ear is still wet with the water, you're going to take uh, pigment, like, like a lot of pigment onto your brush probably the same color as you used for the head of the rabbit and you're just going to gently outline your ear. And because we're using the wet and wet technique, this technique allows for the pigment to kind of spread and bleed towards the center of the ear and it gives off this really nice fuzzy appearance. So it makes the ear look like it's furry or fuzzy. Once you're finished with the first ear, you want to start the second ear. Uh, we're obviously going to be using the same technique, but you can uh, try to maybe choose a different color. I mean, you can use the same color as the first ear, but I really wanted this card to pop, so I chose more of a violet color for the uh, second ear. By the way, I just want to remind you to check out my last year's Easter watercolor card tutorials. I think I uploaded three, two or three videos with two cards in each video. Um, so if you want more Easter and this isn't enough for you, I'll link those videos down in the description. So be sure to check those out. I've also, as always, linked all the supplies that I use in the description, so uh, if you like how some of the paintings look with specific types of brushes, um, so for example, with, for this ear, I'm using one of my Grumbacher brushes, you are welcome to click those links in the description as well. So once your rabbit has completely dried, you're going to take either a pen uh, or a fine tip marker and you're going to outline both the head and the two ears. So you can either do it very precisely and you know stay within the lines or you can sort of go outside of what you already painted and I really like this look because it makes the card look a little bit more unique and homemade. You can also add two eyebrows. Uh, later I painted on some eyes which I think I forgot to film. <laughs> Um, and you can also pencil in a holiday greeting, so I wrote uh, Happy Easter before writing over it with a black marker. If you taped the borders of your piece of paper, you can take the tape off and we're all finished. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out next week's video.